Tell the folks how you didn't bring any film for your shoot today. What happened? I think I was right. up you guys today i'll be tagging along with beginning shooter i'm going to be offering tips tricks and jumping into the mind of a beginner because it's been a while for me and i need to go there in order to be able to offer you guys better advice when i'm making these videos so stay tuned follow along and let's see what we get today all right so Niaz is here mm -hmm. let me get my quick refrain so unprofessional. Just pot the pan. Oh yeah, I like it. What's your light meter telling you? Ooh, he's in the middle. Good. Okay. One, two, three. Gotta love that sound, don't you? <laughs> uh, do you suggest keeping it in thousand? Um, that's up to you. You should be exploring though. If you feel like a thousand's a bit fast, then you can kind of move it. But you're still shooting at f uh, five point six, right? Yes. So if you want to shoot at f5.6, that's the right place to be. You got to advance your shutter. You just took a shot, so oh, right. now you advance. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> my wig, actually. Child, Don't let you know. The people that. First of all, they need to know. We might have a YouTube channel on how I apply my hair. <laughs> there you go. Okay. We call this piece Ricky. Promotion. We call this piece Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> and I love the Rick James look. Ooh, I like that. You don't think it was focused? Oh, no, I'm okay. I think the other few probably not so much. Yeah, you want it to look sharp. In yeah. your in your viewfinder. Yeah, so now it's shot. Yeah. Ooh. That was nice. That's another good thing about having your shutter speed so fast. You're not gonna have a shake. Oh, okay. But in the future, if you do feel like you need to be really still, take a breath, inhale it, hold it, then shoot it. Hi, my name is Christina Hokey. I've been shooting film for three months. What made me want to start shooting film was just finding beauty in everything around me. Use that a form of self-expression because uh, I think photography is also another uh, aspect of art, which I involve art in my life somehow. So I think that's what made me want to start shooting. I got my first camera by Talia, of course, herself. Jump up! What the hell? Because I heard the buzzing in my ear. Goodness. Oh. Oh, okay. Don't freak out. <laughs> I don't know where it went. It is. <laughs> what happened? It doesn't fit. <laughs> I need my lipstick. Nah, your lips are shining. Shining, 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 shining. All of this winning, I've been losing my what? Losing my mind. Hold on. Boom. Try to. Have you watched Renaissance? You know? On first listen, the first half, I was not feeling. You were supposed to be natural. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my I don't know what it is mm. about the thing. <laughs> All right, this is nice because it's like kind of you see how it's shaded, so yeah. you can get like a nice even light on your model on your subject. The shaded areas, how would you like? How would you 
You can take it anywhere. So shaded areas are great because the light's even here. Mm. See? And like you have like small peaks of light oh, yeah, on your cool. hand. So you can kind of position her accordingly. Maybe some yellow. Feel like Bob Ross. Yellow, yellow. Mm -hmm. I was watching some Bob Ross on YouTube the other day. I want to see the so nice. He's the best to go to sleep to. He like calms me down from a busy day. And as I was listening, I noticed that in the beginning seasons of Bob Ross, he had less of an accent, right? Mm -hmm. So like he said yellow correctly. Yellow. He said all the, the letters. But as you get more into the seasons, so he said like season 28, he says yellow. Have you watched all the seasons? I don't know if I've seen every episode, but oh. I do like to jump around. I pick according to like what he's painting. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like when he does water. We had um, planned to have like glued on flowers as eye makeup. Yeah. But we were running out of time. Yeah, y'all were late. So I don't know where this time was coming from. <laughs> <laughs> What's the light meter telling you now? How's the hair? You know what? What does the light meter tell you? <laughs> All these questions. <laughs> she ain't answered one. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out which one to answer first. Oh, oh, man. So bro. the light meter is like struggling to stay in the middle. Is it going, is it down below yeah, it? Okay, yeah, so okay. so since it's below it, you want to, you can afford to adjust your um, your shutter speed because it's so fast, it's at a thousand. So move it down to 500 of a second. And why do that? Because you want to let more light in. So okay. when the needle is below the, the middle line, it means you're underexposed. So do it's I, not enough light. Do I have to change my aperture? Well, look through it and see what's happening. If it, cause it may, so just changing one may help. What happened? Did it move? No. So move it to 250, move it down a notch again. So you're moving the wrong one. Oh. You're moving the aperture. So if you know you want to be at F6, stay there. So you want to move it here. Okay. So what's, what are you at right now up there? I'm on 500. So now move it to 250. All right, now see what that did for you. Ooh, it brought it up too high. It's too high? Yeah. So go back down to 500. Yeah. I think 500 was fine. All right. If it comes... <laughs> <laughs> Mia, flowers! Oh. We're, we're not giving out positive energy. You have to give out positive energy to the beetles so that they will leave us alone. I'm positive. I'm working so. on it. <laughs> okay. Okay, ready? One, two... All right, so underneath the camera, clip it. There should be a small. Oh, there it is. Nope. Button. Push the button. Oh. Push it in. Okay, now. Is it in there? Okay. Now flip it. Now um, lift this part here, and now we're wind. This way? Turn it, yeah. If it doesn't go, then it's the other way. No. I mean, I'm like on the other side doing it. So this has to be pushed in, and then it's this way. Uh. Yeah. It might be the other way. No, I think it was this one. That was not a great town. <laughs> I did not bring my dark bag. Oh wait, I think I was right. <laughs> oh, on camera. To the right, to the right. The good news is that we got it off. The bad news is it did not sound good right now. Um, that's what film is, learning. Mm -hmm. Mistakes happening. And then you moving forward. And not doing it again, hopefully. All right, so now, it sounds like it's it's loose, so it sounds like the whole wheel is on this side. So now you just close that, and now proceed. All right. How do you? Oh open? yeah. Pull Damn! That. What the hell? <laughs> I don't even see nothing. Pull that I up. I saw it. All the way. 
There you go. Yay! Yay! Open sesame. We didn't break it. I didn't break it. <laughs> Tell the folks how you didn't bring any film for your shoot today. She didn't bring no film for the shoot today. We had a whole filming thing today, and mm -hmm. she didn't bring the one thing she needs as a film photographer. Film. It's okay. I'm shooting with a beginner. <laughs> Now she knows. It's, it was the text where you said we're gonna have a talk. <laughs> it sounded very serious. <laughs> I was just like, ma'am, beginners out there in the world, when you have a shoot and you're a film photographer, you need to supply film for yourself. Otherwise, you won't be shooting on anything. It, it, it's not gonna happen for you. So the first step is buying film. Also make sure you have a camera. These things go together. <laughs> My mm. young partridge here has learned a lesson. And next time, what are you going to have, Christina? Uh, film. Damn right. All right. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I'll be selling her this Lomo 100. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Now we're going to watch her load up. I always liked when the, uh, the film I'm just like trying to be careful. And, like, really makes the oh, there you, go. there you go. Do I pull it? And... So you want to kind of see how there's a. Oh, okay. In there? You want to put it in there. So, so you have to hold it down. Put this down. There you go. Now pull. Yep. Now it's time to try to wedge it in there. There you go. Now advance it. You were right. Advance it. Okay. Right. <laughs> so you see the opening again? All right. So I like wow. to, I like to put like a finger here. So like put one finger, yeah, put a thumb there and then like use this hand to try to get it inside. I could let it go. You can let it go. So you want to get it in the wedge. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. It's in there. Now take this thumb and kind of put that here now. Yep. Now advance this. Mm -hmm. Now shoot it or uh, push the button. Okay. Now a little bit advance it to make sure it's really under a little bit, little bit. Okay, great. I'll stop because you don't want to expose right thumb, so close it. Snap it. Boom. Push down. Boom. Close that. Now advance it. Wow. Push the shutter. Yes. Advance it. Okay, that should be enough. That should be enough. So it's on one. It's just before one. Like a lot of times, you can get more than thirty-six images if you just kind of stop it before you get to one. So you like last time, you know, like last time we had like that extra shot after the thirty-six is because we probably loaded this one. Okay. So yes. Do yeah. I change this to color? Is already in color. And you don't have to change that. So the camera uh, just cares about the asset, mm. right? So let's figure out where your asset is. What's the ISO? That, your ISO. So that's oh. the sensitivity of your film. So it's a hundred speed film. Mm. Oh, so it's right there. See how it's already like on a hundred from mm -hmm. like the last time we shot um, the T-Max 100. So you can just leave it there. It's okay. There. So when do you change it? When your film speed changes. So like I have some T-Max, I have Tri-X 400. So if we had put in Tri-X 400, we would change that to 400. Does it tell you when the... It does. Tri-X 400. Okay. Oh, it's in the name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's silent, but I feel like we have established an understanding with the Beatles, so let's try to be quick because we have to get out of here. <laughs> it's just that signage. So have her, have her, you can either, so because there's a sign there, you can either shoot her from this angle and get closer to her. Well, it's the wide lens, so I can still see the sign on the GoPro. But with your camera, you're on a 50, so you should be able to get tight in there. And you can also change your levels. Yeah. Squat down and get the sky behind her. Or you can come to this side of her where there's no sign at all. We've given her the information. Mm. Maybe I'm gonna just keep it right here. <laughs> the model waits. <laughs> In the pose. Okay, bite literally. Throw it in.
Yeah, we can. We can do it. Where do you see that? Just says don't feed them animals. And we agree. We ain't feeding them. Okay, do something to your face. Do something to your face. Maybe more specificity? Yes. That's nice. She does her own stunts, folks. Pow! Go! You're walking the duckies. <laughs> no, they're swimming by. Okay. What's going on? Should I, it's not really in the middle. Should I change this? Is it below or higher? It's higher. By a lot or a little? Just a little. It's fine. It's better to be overexposed by a little than to be underexposed. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> you got this. It's all about. One, two, three. First time shooting with a mar was low key challenging, but it was very, very exciting. Very, it's, it's a good experience. I learned a lot grasped a lot um there's a lot i need to learn and practice um especially with the features of the camera oh my God. um learning more angles and you know working with the sun of course Ready. One, the sun two, is a good light three. source so gotta work with it yeah this was an amazing experience i think i got some good captures i got some good pictures you gonna see thank you guys so much for having me you guys can follow me on Instagram at Christina E. Ho King and also on TikTok, Christina E. Ho King. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this behind the scenes look at what it's like to shoot with a beginner. I know I learned a lot from shooting with Christina, jumping back into the mindset of a beginner, how you're overwhelmed, how there's so many things you have to kind of take into account to make the best portrait or photo possible. It can be kind of tricky, but here are some quick hitters that I have for Christina, things I kind of noticed, and things for you too if you're a beginner just starting out. Practice, 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 because why? Shoot or shoot. And the only way to get good at using your camera and taking portraits is to be practicing every single day. And if not every single day, you better have that camera in your hands at least once a week because to have progress, you have to put in the time and you have to put in the work. If you're new to film photography and you have questions, please comment down below. Feel free to ask. 
I'm happy to offer the knowledge that I have, whether it's limited or not, and it's opinionated, but hey, I can offer what I know thus far, and hopefully my tips and tricks can help you as well. Please make sure you follow Christina on Instagram. I'm going to link her in the description down below, and I'm sure I'm going to have it popped up all around this video. Follow me as well. And if you are a beginner too, I hope this video helped you out and that you will continue to shoot as much as possible. If you're also looking for film cameras and you're not quite sure how to buy one, I'm going to link my video on how to buy cameras on eBay so that you can learn some tips and tricks there as well on how to buy a film camera that's not broken because that sucks and it's not gonna help you on your journey at all. That is all for today. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for following along. And as always, I will see you in the next one. All right, everybody. Peace. All right. My goal as a film photographer moving forward will we got be- these? Hey, <laughs> we're filming. <laughs> Shut up. Kick your foot at the camera. Dog, dog, dog. Picture. That's how they do you. I'm sorry.